the problem with Phil Kessel that, that I've heard, he's a nice guy. Uh, a lot of people like him, but he hasn't matured yet. And how old is Phil Kessel? Twenty-seven. No, he's older. Oh, yeah, he's close he's to 32. thirty-two. Yeah, thirty-two. I'll bet, yeah. Frank. Two thousand. He, he's, he's still a thirty-two-year-old child. Yeah. Oh no, he's he's his maturity is about fourteen. Yeah, and 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 and, and you know, Austin Matthews. Career. Um, you know, a lot of people say he's probably one of the best players in the world, but you're going to have to see how he matures and grows into that man's body. Well, yeah. here's the problem for Phil Kessel now. I mean, I've watched him in Arizona. He's not really having much of an impact. Phil never put that much effort, obviously, into physical fitness. He was gifted enough offensively to be able to stay healthy and be durable and score goals without... And, 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 Eric, if I may interject, sure. incredible skater. Well, he was a great oh, no, skater. he's a wonderful Absolutely, skater. great skater. But great he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't work on the, the, the physical fitness aspect to hockey the way other players do, and that got other people upset. They obviously... No, he's, he's on it. He wants cheeseburgers and playing video games. No, he's not, and, and, uh, some people in Toronto told me he came to, to the mini skate that leaves off before they go to training camp. Yeah. And, um, and he had been fishing all summer, and he didn't go on the ice once. That's right. And now, now that he's the age that he is, the, those those gifts that were so great for him when he was young, they're a little more difficult. They're not there anymore, and he, unless he put. Oh, I think they're still there, but you know, talent is talent. But you know who had a, who had the same bad habits as Phil Kessel? The same exact bad habits as Grant Fuhrer. Grant Fuhrer wouldn't fucking go on the ice once. He was short up at Edmonton once, forty pounds overweight. Well, he was when he came to Toronto. He was two thirty five. Oh. And and that's not a thing. How, how big was Grant Fuhrer? 5'10"? 5'11"? 5'10". 5'10". But you know what? He was a wonderfully gifted athlete. Yep. Well, he, 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 he knew his position in that. I think that when, when he was at the top of his game, he knew where to stand and the puck would hit him. Mm-hmm. He understood and he where to... And he was a southpaw. So it fucked up a lot of shooters that were uh, right-handed. Yeah. No, he was... Uh... If he applied, and, and that's a good example. They're, they're Kessel and Fuhr are, are, are birds of the same feather. Yeah, they're very similar. Like they, they, they felt that the game was easy to them. They didn't have to. A lot of players have to bust the fucking ass. You know, I was talking to a hockey player who busted um, his ass. This was a long time ago. He played for the Chicago Blackhawks. Um, he was a little small Italian guy. Uh, when the Blackhawks had Eddie Belfour, Jeremy Roenick, uh, um, Bernie Nichols, uh, uh, what was his name? Larmer. Who? Steve Larmer. Larmer, yeah. Uh, no, Larmer was before no, that. He was on that team. No, 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 Larmer was on that, on that team. Uh, Campbell, Joe Campbell. Okay. Um, but oh. but uh, a little small. He had to work like a fucking dog. Like, like a dog. Like a fucking dog. Uh, to, to, to play the game and be competitive. 